Hello, YouTube. Very stressful. This is what happened. My um, 15 year old. Basically, I asked him to give me the ox cord uh, piece so I can be able to focus more on the GPS so I can make it to a pop up shop. And um, he basically told me no. Didn't listen to me for a good five minutes straight. And then when I tried to take it out of his hand, he basically tussled with me and he threw it out of the window. Um... He later called me a bitch. Excuse my language. He later called me a B word. And um, he also not only called me a B word, but um, he was basically like, he would, he'd want to punch me so bad. He's been saying that lately a lot. Now, he told me his dad does not want me with the number because every time I call, it's like I'm calling him complaining about his behavior. But he does communicate with Junior, doing whatever manipulating games that he do. Um, still yet and still, he has not called me and seen uh, what happened. Soon as, uh, so anyway, I was driving and, you know, as I was arguing with him, and I was trying to make it to the pop-up shop. I wind up at a different address, an hour away from where I live. And then after a while, I wind up calling the lady from the church where the pop-up shop was would be at. And she was like, you're at the wrong address. You have to come to Dixie, Georgia. And um, I was like, okay. Now, mind you, I'm on light gas. I didn't even have that much gas at all. I tried to make it to the pop-up shop so I can be able to, you know, sell some clothes, shoes, and make some money. My son was disrespecting me the whole time. That's why my auntie hit you upside the head with the hammer. Uh, you know, all of this. I want to beat your this. And as I'm driving, I'm not familiar with the area. I've never even been in certain parts of Georgia in my life. The only part of Georgia I've ever been in is the part that I live in now, which is Fort Austin, Lowndes County. And um, he decides to uh, continue to disrespect me. And as I'm driving... I'm not even noticing that there was a stop sign. I ran the stop sign and wind up in handcuffs. The officer told me a lot of officers would have let me go, but he wasn't going to let me go. I explained to him what I was going through. He was actually, he was about to tow the car till my aunt came and got the car. And let me tell you, she's such a trustworthy person. And... To be able to count on her in a time of need, I show I would like to basically pour out so much gratitude to her. She's the main one who wishes the best for me. Don't get it twisted. But um, here I am thinking I would have to wait nine hours in the cell, and I probably was only in the cell 30 minutes. But guess what? It was an embarrassment. Not only was it an embarrassment, and it was humiliating, and it, it caused me to be very, you know, in a shake, state of depression for a bit. I'm fine now. You know, what don't kill you can only make you stronger. But now I'm fighting a charge of reckless driving. Pretty overwhelming. My son got on the phone with the, his attorney in the family court, told him what happened. Tried to railroad me in so many ways, and I didn't even know this was going on. My, my aunt told me 
Do you know what he said about your other two little ones? And do you know, you know, I can't deal with your son. He's, he's, he's a problem. Like, he don't want to listen. And I'm like, just that fast? And my aunt never really got a chance to, like, sit with him that long to even know that. He's suspended from school, all type of stuff. He was smoking on the school bus. So he's suspended. You know, and he's suspended from the school bus for 10 days. He's suspended from the school for five days. It's pretty stressful that every time I turn around and try to help my son, that there's always something. You know, and nothing from the dad with the dad helping in any kind of way. You know, I've been doing so good, you know. Try my best to walk on a straight line. Do what I got to do for my kids and stuff. He has a lot of requests. Again, I want to show you something. The police just left because I had to file a police report on his conduct. I want to show you. He broke. He broke. Uh, he broke the um, hole in the wall. And I believe he broke the AC unit, too. Whoever's sending out negative energy, though, I want to put this out there. I do do reversals. I will send a boomerang effect. Because I don't bother anybody. I just try to be great in my own light. Okay? I'm around here breaking generational curses. And making sure I fall through with generational wealth. Even to make sure the knucklehead gets a chance of understanding the vision. Some people don't understand it. Some people are easily manipulated. You know, and I told my son, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. He likes to have his pants down baggy. And I told him, you know, it's, it's, it's not a cute thing. You know, I don't know the point. It's a, it's a, it's a saying, and when you go to prison, uh, that's how a, a lot of sissies used to wear their pants. So I don't think it's a good look. That's the history of it, I was basically saying. It's a saying. Now, um, if you are a child and watching this video, this is an 18-plus video because I did cuss. I don't want you hearing me. So ask your mom, is it okay for you to watch this video? Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, like, and share. Remember, guys, this one hole, I have to show you because this camera, this is my iPhone 12. It doesn't convert. Like, it doesn't do the, you know. This hole was one thing, right? That was one hole. You guys remember that hole. This hole just happened today. Now, let's go over here, and I can literally put my hand all in the wall. This is a mobile home. Understand me. This he broke. I don't even know how to fix it. You see something? Shit. Maybe you guys can sit with me while I fix it. God will. I hope I can fix it. Yeah, but no weapons formed against me shall prosper. You know, this too shall come to pass. Good news. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're gonna try to put in the wall. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a like a literally a whole probably a whole wasp, wa what do you call it? A whole bunch of corking and put that in the wall. But he he has to go, you know, he has to go. Well, guys, you hear it? It's on. It's on. 
or whatever. It's definitely on. He he threw this and it broke. This is what brought the, you know, the front room out a bit. I was just about to say I'm like done here. You know, this is the most I can do. I did suspend his phone account, you know, because he doesn't deserve it. And my night, my 10 year old deserves it more. Because he has his challenges in school, but he's doing well overall. So he's the one who deserves the phone. So since he's leaving and he's probably going back either to a foster home or to his paternal uncle, which I wouldn't vouch for. Um, yeah. Wherever he goes, as long as it's just not us beefing all the time and him threatening how he's going to hurt me, you know. And, you know, m mind you, he has witnessed domestic violence his whole life, you know, with me and his dad fighting or whether his dad is black in my eye and, uh, you know, hurting me his whole life. So, you know, teach your child in the way that he should go. So, you know, if he was molded to see violence, that's all he knows. I'm not saying you can't blame him, but he knows better. He's a teenager, and he, he, he knows right from wrong. Trust me, he knows right from wrong. Compared to how and when he was hallucinating, he's hallucinating way more. Just think about how the other videos I gave you when I told you his dad was watching my YouTube channel. Not trying to call me. Not trying to see how he's doing. None of that. I said none of that. But he's watching my YouTube channel. Just to see what's next. Just to see what's said. What's, you know, even about him. But I will say, I know all the dirty laundry on 18th Avenue. Okay? And I know about the ATF coming to my job. Looking for him. Okay? I don't think dad wants to keep bothering me because I know a lot of his dirty work. And my goal is not to bring it to YouTube because that there is sensitive and very deep. But it looks like eventually I will. You can you can call me. Uh, don't let your mouth open up. You know, and you can call me. You know, anything you want to call me. But. It's a lot to deal with. So now he has a charge he's facing. George is set up differently, so I guess we have to just hear for the for, for we have to hear from the judge in the court case or whatnot. And um Yeah. Uh I have not heard from anybody in the paternal side when it comes to the well being for Junior. You know, how could we work together? If he looks up to you guys, don't you think you guys can help a bit? Or maybe not. Yeah. So it's it's pretty stressful, you know. But as you can see from the rooter of my life from the beginning to even this current moment, I've conquered it all. Fortunately. Mm -hmm. That's the genes I carry. I'm a conqueror. But um, I am human. <sighs> and I do 
get overwhelmed. So, yeah. That's where I'm at with it, you know. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, again, my auntie bonded me out. <laughs> when that time come, I will be rewarding her for just being a good aunt, a mother that, you know, <laughs> I don't really have because my mom is uh, basically say, telling my in-laws, you know, befriending them. Saying, LaGreg ain't gonna like it down there. I'm telling you, watch. LaGreg, LaGreg gonna get her hair, yeah, yeah, right. Watch. You gonna see, he gonna give her a hard time. Watch. See, basically, he's got people counting me out because they're in the life story and, the, you know, the dirty laundry and all the light and all the truth and, you know, this and that. And I, yeah. It's not, it's not a fake game. This is real life. My life story is real. There's nothing fake about it. You hear me? From Wachula, Florida, from me being in that program to anything I've been through. It's no fairy tale. It's no fairy tale. None. It's no fairy tale. That's why everybody's mad. But it, understand, I can't, I can't split a Red Sea and I don't walk on water, so I'm not perfect. But understand me, whatever goes on in the dark will always come to the light, okay? You know, I don't get paid to make it up. Whatever goes on in the dark will eventually come to light. And God spares no one, not me, not you, not them, not him, not not the, not the paternal, not my family, not my family in Cuba, nobody. And to be honest with you, it's a lot going on in Cuba. And I wish that it was more free will. But once there is a free will, understand that that will be my second home. Probably even my primary. I see myself living in Cuba. Okay? I do. Because the injustice system that I have experienced here is sickening. And yes, yeah, it's injustice everywhere, and it's injustice in Haiti, and it's injustice in Africa, and it's injustice in Cuba. But I've been to Cuba before, and I've experienced the bad, and I've also experienced the good. And even the good outweighed the bad. So, at least from my experience, yes, I did see the struggle. Yes, I did see the, the uh, how how the government could have did better when it comes to, to its citizens and stuff like that. But you know, we have a lot of stuff in our own country that's a mess. You know, hell, my situation is a mess, isn't it? So now that we know that. What difference does it make? I'm tired of this. I really am. I spoke to housing today. And when I spoke to housing today, you know what they told me? They said, Elsa, I'm rooting for you. I want you to get housing. And thank you for sending your final disposition desp off. Because I don't know if you guys... If I told you guys, but my case got dismissed two days ago. The felony case that my son put me in jail about him and his dad. Got dismissed. Motion by stand your ground law. Rest in peace, Trayvon Martin. But I will say. The spiritual warfare is weird, real. It's real. Really real. And I'm Baptist. And I'm going to be honest. The spiritual war warfare is so real. God will test your faith. You understand me? He will test your faith. And what I've been through, I have been in the spiritual warfare. Hell, I had to protect myself. 
So I had to protect myself and get in that spiritual warfare and defeat. It's real out here. And they don't care if they're destroying your kids, your character, anything. The enemy is here to steal, kill, and destroy. So, yeah, my son has to go. He, you know, he's, you know, my, the, you know, my son told me sometimes he likes to jack him up and hit him and push him off the game and guide him all over the place. You know, my 10-year-old told me that. My 10-year-old also told me a couple of times that he's, he's in the room smoking, Mom. That's not a good example if your money is doing a good job. That's not a good, excuse me, that's not a good example for, uh, I'll say Junebug. That's the nickname I gave him. It's not a good example for Junebug to be sitting up there doing that to his brothers. Even me. You know, I can be so balanced, but here you are and making me imbalanced. You got me all over the place. You're causing anxiety. And all I want is the best for you. I was actually going to the pop-up shop to get ready for his birthday. His birthday is November 25th. I think you guys knew that prior. I told you guys that. You guys been to his birthday. I promise. I can't make it up. If I had to get the world and take it to my kids, I would do just that. And Junior knows that. You know, I follow my dad's tradition. He takes good care of his kids, and I make it my goal to, you know, make sure I can provide the best that I can for my kids. I feel at this point that he's being very ungrateful. Okay, it's getting late, guys. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And all I can do is take one day at a time. Applied to Piggly Wigglies. Someone booked the vehicle for through Turo, November 24th. I'm going to be home. I got a little ham in, it, in the freezer with a little whole chicken. And it's just going to be me and my two children. Because, you know, I'm sure there'll be an emergency hearing after today. Okay? Thank you.